What's up guys? So, we've got another video today. We're going to be talking about uh, the last updates and sort of the future of Revival, the immediate future being like the, this month and the next month. Just sort of the plans, what we want to do, what kind of events we'll have, all that type of stuff. So before we get into that, let's do, let's talk about the update. So um, it wasn't really a big update or anything, pretty simple, pretty small. Um, the luck of the pugs now provides more luck. Lizard, Shaman, and Pen's Queen are now monsters that drop fossil boxes. All of the rates of the fossil box monsters have been adjusted. Basically, the more effort you have to put into the boss, the more likely its drop rate is low. So, Giant Mole, where you can AFK, is probably one of the worst ones. And then monsters like DK is where you kind of have to put in effort to go kill them all, have good rates. Penance Queen does damage to you. You have to put in good, you know, it has good rates. Lizard Shaman, you hope it damages you. You'll have good rates. So, that's just kind of how it works now. Um, you know, we'll see what happens. It wasn't too much of a nerf, so no, no reason to panic or get your pitchforks out. Um, these Stronghold Slayer Dungeon and K4 Dungeon are now multi. Uh, this really isn't much of a big change, but it should help for superiors. Um, could make the dungeons pretty nice AFK spots. I'll have to give that a check. I might make a worth it video just on the K4s alone, because so I feel like that's the one that, that would be interesting. Uh, $5 Bond is now uncommon from Slayer Boxes. A um, couple Sliske related fixes. There's a new item called Sliske Shadow. Um, <laughs> I didn't change the name of it, it's still Ivan Shadow. But uh, yeah, this weapon is a combination of the, or not, not weapon, a tool, or whatever. It's a combination of the Imbued Heart, the Imbued Eye, and the Demonic Tome. You use all three of those to create it, and it does a nice little animation, and boosts all of their stats up at once. That's a nice item. Um, sea Slug Glue is now a common, it's, it's on the common table. All the rewards from Homunculus um, have been improved, like the... Um, Smaller rates, uh, you you basically get more of the actual final reward is slightly better. You get more rivets, and then if you get the crystal Cree loot instead, you get more of them now. So at least it's kind of useful. Um, new items just disassemble, and then there is a new person you can turn in items to for completionist boots. The Dark Light Trials, Hatius, Contasius, Consentus, whatever his name is, is in Lumbridge, and he can take all the clue items off right here. So small update, uh, just a couple things, but uh, you know nice little improvements nevertheless so let's get into the calendar so i'm uploading this on the uh third of may and um so um tomorrow the fourth there is going to be a boss mass um by the time you're seeing this you're probably not even going to be like seeing the boss mass but just assume we're going to be doing masses on the weekends we almost always do a mass on saturday so that will exist tomorrow and then next saturday we'll do a mass the next saturday i want to do a god wars 2 mass one of these days I know that people don't like doing masses that don't give everybody loot, like Tecton, but maybe God Wars 2 people would put up the exception just because it could be interesting to kill, you know, a lot of a certain boss. Um, either way, if you have any suggestions and ideas for that, let me know. I, I think it'd be fine if we, we do something a little different from Vasa every single time, but again, Vasa Mass tomorrow, be there or be square. So, in terms of the updates for this month, there's really a, a few big things that have been floating around that most of you know. Dark Lights boots, the Comp boots the comp cape, whatever you want to call it, it's boots. Um, that is being worked on, but it requires a lot of things, so that's why it hasn't officially come out yet. And I did mention that when people were asking me about the date and when, it, when they expect it to come out, I did say the end of April, but we're at the 3rd, and we only have two of the dudes out. So you can see that I'm way off on my original prediction. Um, I don't really know when I want that out. But I've decided that I'm gonna just keep doing what I've been doing and that's slowly releasing bit by bit. I understand that maybe not everybody would like that. They'd probably prefer it all at once because then you can go out, rush out and do all that things. But that's just not the way we've done it. People have known about the achievements for a while. Um, obviously some of them are gonna be different. The I think the Zenite one is probably not gonna be a thing. So if you're one of those people that have those items, you can sell them or get rid of them if you want. Um, and then obviously we'll be adding more things. And that's kind of the reason why I wanted to push it a little bit back is because the other thing that's been floating around is raids. I think we've gotten to a point where we've decided to just do raids. We're going to do our own custom um, revival raids. It will be unique. Uh, and it's going to be somewhat like... Well, there's three ideas, and we'll get into those in this video. But it will be... The, the, the main thing that we have is the rewards. We have the items. Get ID. I'm on the wrong... I'm on the like, calendar. We have the items, we have the main things, we have the important things that everybody wants. Uh, just... K4 
Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna spawn a couple. We don't have like the um, newest version, unfortunately. Um, the uh, legs, I think, is the legs, um, and then I think the rapier got a custom animation. We don't have either of those two things, but we will get it eventually. And obviously, it's not too important, you know. I think the current current animation will be fine. So we've got the gear. That's gonna be the reward. The bosses are gonna be custom. Uh, we don't have the bosses from Theater of Blood. Uh, we, I mean, we kind of have them. Like, I, like I've showed it before that they look ugly, and, and it's one of those things where it, we can fix it, but it's not going to be like it, I can't fix it. So <laughs> I say we, I mean, that means I can't fix it. I'm working towards, you know, trying to improve my knowledge of clients and how clients work, so I can, you know, get better, and, and hopefully um, in the future we'll, we'll have updated data. We'll have all that new stuff old school has. But the way I look at it, we're a unique server, anyways. We're not an old school clone. We're not even a good... I mean, like, even if we were, we're not good. So, we, like, we'd be a bad old school clone. So, I think just sticking with what we've been doing, unique, you know, unique ways of doing things, you know, unique content. I think that's just our best that's the way we should do things. Uh, it's the way we've been doing things. It's the way I like to do things. And I think that that's really what's going to set us apart because, I mean, when you really look at Revival compared to other servers, you're, you're not really thinking... You know, I, I hope you don't think of Revival as an old school type server. That's... Because, I mean, we don't even have the same, like, client, like, we, the same character models... I believe are not the exact same. Um, I mean, we have old, old school themed items, and that's the main thing I want to stick with. Because I like the old school feel, the old school look of the game. I think RS3 looks terrible. And I say that as someone who likes RuneScape 3 and have played it uh, you know, almost more than old school in the last you know few years. But I just think the game looks terrible, and I prefer this style of look. So this is always going to stay. Um, and I, and I think doing things unique is the way to go. So we're going to do our own unique raids. And there have been three uh, three ideas that have come up. So when I pitched it in-game to people, everybody liked option one. And then when it got put on Discord, everybody liked option three. So originally I was just going to go with one because that that's what everybody liked. But now that there is some confu you know, there's a little some split opinions, I'm going to make a straw poll. That'll be the only thing in the description um, other than the links to the, the game. So click that and vote for whatever option you like the most. I'm going to try to give you some visuals. I'll show you a little bit of what everything's going to look like and how it's going to work. Um, I don't have all the ideas mapped out, so there's, there's always room for growth, and there's possibilities that some things that I'm promising or talking about I can't pull off. So just keep everything you hear with a grain of salt. These are just the rough ideas of what we want to do. And depending on what the plan is, I, I'd, like to prog I'd like to start working on it right away. Um, and with that... That means that it would come out towards the end of the month. Um, at the end of the month is June 1st, which is our second year anniversary. So we're also going to have an event for that. So I need to leave myself time to work on the event. I don't really have an idea of what I want to do yet. Um, so I'm thinking that we would release raids... Uh, it's assuming it's done, right? Because obviously if it isn't done, if it isn't good, we're not going to release it. I'm not going to rush it. I, all of these dates I'm giving you are, or are just estimates. Obviously, I've, I've been wrong many times before. I've been late many times before. So just take all the information you have with a grain of salt. I'm just trying to give you the best uh, the best information I can, the best information that, that, that I can give you. So My plan would be to have those two things happen around the same time. Uh, I, I suppose I'd be fine with one of them releasing earlier. Uh, I don't matter. I don't really care which one. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, so that's going to be the big thing. And then what we'll do is we'll continue working on other little things throughout the month so you'll still get continuous updates because whenever we've done um big things in the past like god of wars 2 and invention we've sort of stopped doing little updates and we just would we'd go we'd, i basically i would just go away for a month and then come back with the update and that's always bad for the game just because people people lose entrance quick a new server comes out every day people a new game comes out every day people will lose interest quick so we're gonna have those little updates but I think having a big update all that you're working towards in the background is is the way to go. So that would be my plan. My plan would be to work on a couple little things and then at the same time keep, you know, putting layers of raids down. And at the exact same time of doing both of those two things, I will also be doing a third thing, and that is slowly working towards the Dark Lights Trials. The stuff that is already finished, like the clue part was already finished. So there's no... Um, or, or designed, I suppose, because it wasn't coded. I coded it recently, but like the design for it and how it would work was already coded. Or, or <laughs> designed, you know what I mean? Um, so we'll be working on the other ones that work, because obviously raids, you're not going to do the raid achievement, so that, that one won't come out right away. But the other ones that will, and the other ones that are what people already know about, or just, you know, other ones that we, we're coming up with, you know. That there's, there's, there's only a couple that, that are actually going to happen, so there will be some surprises.
But, uh, yeah, that'll be going on uh, as the third thing in the background. This dude don't even have the gear. This, yeah. Alright, this is bronze. Bronze. This is bronze trimmed right here. So, let's get into the three options. Uh, so, the first one was... Let me get my notes. Hold on. Okay, so let me set this up a little bit. All right, so yeah, we have raids. We, we have raids. Uh, they're all going to be called raids. Um, and even if these ideas that I pitch you, you don't like them, or you don't necessarily think that they're good for raids, all three of the ideas I like, and I feel like could be things at some point or another. Like, the ones we don't go with could end up being mini games, um, or something else, some distraction and diversion type thing later down the road. So I like all three ideas no matter what, but you gotta keep in mind that this is going to be four raids gear. And it's going to be called raids. That's going to be what it's called. Um, depending on, uh, on exactly which option we go for. So just keep those things in mind. Uh, so option one, we take the actual raids maps and we have an e a boss for each room. So let me get this map up. Um, you can see this right. So this is the map for the raids, and if you go up a, a different height, or not, <laughs> wrong button. There is different rooms. I assume Tech Ten would be in here. I assume one of these is Vesperia. I really don't know. I don't know the real raids a whole lot myself. So this this is gonna be a learning experience for me, just to figure out what we want to do. But what we would do is take the maps. We would take each room or whichever rooms we want. I don't think we'd go in like an exact order. Or over how they go, we might use this room for one time, and then this room, and then go to a different height, and then use this room, etc. We might we switch around, but the, the same there will be six rooms, and you'll progress through room one, room two, room three, room four, room five, room six. So let's say you enter whatever raids is. Uh, I don't know if it's command, door, whatever. Talk to a person. Um, you start here, wave one, and it's going to be one boss. It's going to be a group boss. And the bosses, I, I don't know uh, what exactly what I would undo. But I'm thinking for this idea, I would do sort of old and new. So we would have, like, the first wave could be a Bandos. Or maybe it's random to where you can randomly spawn one of the four God Wars bosses. And it's like a better version of it. Or something along those lines. And then, so there's some familiarity there. You'll be killing Bandos and whatnot. And, we, and there's really room to expand on it in the future if we go that route. But either way, there will be, you know, un new, unique bosses that are for the raids. Um, so you're at wave one. Everybody, it's multi. Everybody attacks it. Um, gets the same amount of loot. So you, you kill it, and then you get teleported to the second wave. So everybody who damaged it would get teleported to the second wave. And then you kill the second wave, the third wave, the fourth wave, the fifth wave, the sixth wave, and then you get loot. So the thing that really makes it different from just killing six different monsters in a row is that, one, it is a group boss. Um, I know that group ideas have not worked out in the past. There's been a lot of, uh, you know, hate about it. They're, they're just... There just hasn't been a lot of support for it. God of Wars 2 being the main one. People hate it, um, and they want instances and stuff. So we haven't had a whole lot of success with that. But I think the thing that's going to make this different from that is that everyone is working together for their own reward. Everyone will be rewarded. So it's similar to Vasa. Um, if you are on Wave 2, and let's say, uh, I don't know, you have to leave. You DC, you log out, whatever. You're at Wave 2, and everyone else is on Wave 3. You can sit there at Wave 2 and wait for them all to come back. And then when they all get back to wave two, you progress with them. So it doesn't really matter which wave you're at. You'll always have, you'll, it's kind of like Barbarian Assault where you can just go back into your room. So if you end up on wave one and you die, obviously you're, you're done, but I'm just talking about instances where you um, either get there, let's say you get to raids, you enter, you're, you enter it and you're at room one and no one is there. What are you, you know, what are you gonna do, kill the boss by yourself? No, you just wait until everyone resets back to wave one. So anybody can jump on at any point, and everyone has to go through all six bosses to get loot, and every single person gets their own individual loot. So I don't think the group aspect of it is going to be a problem. I think people can work together. They're working together for a common goal. So there's incentive to, you know, to actually find a team and work out. I don't exactly know how to code damaged-based loots. Like, that's been a suggestion a lot. Like, why don't you make Vasa have a better drop rate if you're... If you have, if you did more damage or something like that, we don't really have a way of coding that. But, but it is something I want to do, and I, and I, I do plan to look into it a, a lot, like extensively research it and see what I can't come up with. Um, so I can't really promise anything there, but I would like to make it so that if you do more damage, you're rewarded for it. Um, for example, you end up raid wave two, and everybody else is on wave five. So you, rather than just sit there and wait for them to come back, you're damaging it and working towards it, and that could also incentivize. Um, 
solo play because if there's no reward for it there's no incentive there's no reason for me to just go do raids if no one else is on if it's late at night when there's 35 people and there's not too many people doing raids i'm kind of screwed right because then i can't kill the bus that's that's one problem we have with this this mode right here um because that could be a problem it is group aspect uh, you do. You might have to rely on them, but the thing that that if we can if we can get it to where your damage matters, and if you actually did the entire six 100% by yourself, you're gonna be like almost guaranteed a loot. You know what I mean? If we can code that or get some sort of point system um, allotted, maybe you know I, I really don't know. I, I I definitely understand the value of it, so I wanna I wanna look into it. But I think some sort of value system that that rewards you for killing the boss or doing a lot of damage on the boss compared to just kind of being there on a leech level three because i'm sure we'll have those problems where where leeching becomes an issue but you know that's my problem that's not really the game you know that's not really your problem to worry about that's my problem to worry about yeah i guess your problem is figuring out how to abuse it right um but that's just the idea at the end of the six waves you would get a key or a box or something like that and you'd be rewarded um individually um the, the cons, again, really could be that it is a group aspect, and we will have to make the bosses difficult enough that they're a challenge for a group, and that always is going to make it harder as a solo player. I don't want to make them impossible. I, I want it to be more about surviving rather than, um, you know, trying to combo it out and whatnot, because I feel like a lot of the, the bosses we have in God Wars 2, it's really about killing them faster than they can kill you. Or maybe you're trying it trying and doing it differently where you're sort of surviving and, and outlasting them that could be interesting you know it's definitely got potential and that was the one that that won initially everybody voted that um and then we'll get into option two so option two is kind of different uh, it's, it's a lot different really <laughs> okay so this idea sort of comes from from raiders right the oakland raiders the nfl team that that I'm, uh, you know, I, I'm not afraid to say I'm in love with the Raiders. I love the Raiders. That is, that is my, I, I don't know how to describe that. <laughs> I don't know what word to use that wouldn't sound creepy, but I am a big fan of the Raiders. So, uh, it's kind of a pirate, right? It's a pirate. That's like the thing when you raid. And that's what we want to do with this idea. So this idea is raids, but more of a pirate thing to it. So you're going to be raiding the ships. There's a section of the map that I assume is just, they wanted to put all the boats next to each other. But the nice thing about it is it really opens up the opportunity to like raid other ships you know do pirate you know sailing basically you would be in your ship and then you would you would you would i don't know run into monsters being at sea troll queen something like that you would run into other ships where you have to go on the ship and kill everybody on the ship and collect all the loot and stuff like that there could be other diversions where maybe you have someone locked in jail that's one of your crew members you got to go save um I, I suppose there could be multiple different scenarios and this, this part of the map just kind of like makes it all work. I don't know what they look like. I should probably check that because I've honestly never once teleported here. I just always saw it and, and thought, oh, that's cute. But it could very well be that they look terrible. You know what I mean? Let's, let's find out together. Okay, well, that's not a great sign. <laughs> that's not a great sign at all. Okay, so this is a particularly cool area. I'm guessing this is a part of Dragon Slayer 2. I've never done the quest, but there's white knights like attacked here. This is kind of cool. This could be like, for a cool scene. Um, if we go over here, we have like this really nice boat right here with uh, a wolf. Like it's like a. The area is a little is a little odd. Like you saw, we just kind of walked in the sky right there. Oh, we keep keep. Um, yeah, the the area is definitely strange. I will say that. So that could be kind of scary, having an area so sticky. I'm guessing it's because of the, the location on the map. Um, but I'm sure we can make, I'm sure we can get around it. The, 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 the logic of the idea is what you need to to appreciate what, what we're trying to accomplish. Here's a cool spot right here. But uh, yeah, so this is option two. Um, it's a little weird, but it could be fun. It could be cool. Okay, so option three is is a little different because it's not so much going to be PVM oriented. Now, obviously, you will kill monsters. 
um, or people probably is probably the more accurate word. Um, but it's going to be more, instead of calling it raids, this one's going to be called heists. And this is one of the main ideas where I think that it sounds like it could maybe be a better mini game than raids. But either way, I'll get into the idea and you can give me your thoughts. So one way or another, thieves are going to create a portal. Basically, it lets you teleport anywhere you want. So what they do with it is they use it to rob people. You will have um, situations where you'll be going through a house. It's going to have armed guards, so you will have some PVM aspects there. And your goal is to find the, the, the safe, crack it, and get all the loot. There could be other missions where you um, use the portal to kill somebody. You're a hitman. You have to kill somebody. There could be some missions where you can't kill anyone. If you kill somebody, you fail. And you're supposed to, you know, re acquire some documents or something like that or get some, or obtain some item. Um, so there's a, a lot of different ideas that we could do with it. But the main thing is it wouldn't be so much of raids. It would all be solo. You would be by yourself. Uh, well, you'd have the... I, I assume we'd have NPCs that are quote-unquote helping you, but we both know they're not going to do a damn thing. Uh, so it'll basically be solo. But it, it should be... Um, could. It could be some fun missions with it, and um, I kind of want to do a quest. Like I, I've been really wanting to do a quest, and I think that if we do that idea, that would be a great idea to like make the quest and sort of explain it all and how it works and give more backstory behind it. And you know, I don't know, maybe you could unlock more missions if you've done the quest or, or something like that. I think quests can be fun, uh, especially if the rewards are good, because then you'll incentivize people to do them. One of the problems I feel like most servers have when they make quests is that they they just, they're kind of, it's like, oh, this is a fire-making quest. I'm going to go burn this log, and I got 500k fire-making experience. Woo! They just do a quest to do it. I feel like you have to have a real good idea, and you have to have good rewards. I think that's another part of it. If no one's no one wants to do your quest just because it's kind of funny, you know, I, I, I don't think anyone cares about your sense of humor. I don't think, any, I think most people who would do the quest would most likely just use the guide. You know, use whatever guide is available, because I'm sure someone would make a guide, and I have nothing against it. But I think a lot of people would enjoy it, and a lot of people would have fun with it. I certainly would have fun doing one, so. Um, yeah, these are all ideas I like. They're ideas that could become things no matter what, but the main thing we want is raids. So let me know what you guys think. If you have an idea that you think is better, vote for option four, and then let me know what you think, your, your, you know, what your idea is. Or if you just have something you want to add, let me know. So that's really the plan. Uh, the June 1st, uh, two-year anniversary event is going to be fun. I don't have any ideas for that yet, so if you have something you might you think might be cool, I'm thinking about maybe doing. I don't know, no no spoilers, <laughs> no spoilers, but that will be June, so we'll have a ton of shenanigans throughout that month. Double RNG days. Um, we might even do like a triple experience day or something like that. Something we've never done before. That will definitely be some fun times. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace.